Hi, this is Jeff from Evans Tuning. In this video, we're going to be talking about Cobb Tuning and the Cobb Access Port. So Cobb Tuning is a U.S.-based company. Um, and what that means for people located within the U.S. is going to be easy means of communication uh, for tech support, for customer support, you know, dealing with uh, other companies overseas is a little bit of a challenge time zone wise language barrier sometimes so you know dealing with Cobb is going to make uh, make your life much easier because it's US based uh, the, the other aspect that I feel is very strong or important with Cobb is that they have a huge pro tuner network all throughout the country so if you're tuned here uh, you know in, in Pennsylvania by us and you move to let's say California or Arizona um, you're gonna find a list of pro tuners that are authorized from Cobb and you know it's going to make it easy to get retuned if you need that um, you know it's it's easy to find someone else to tune your car in the event of moving um, far away from you know our location so having been in this industry for the last 15 years um, you know I've seen a lot of companies do things right and, and, and not right and you know in my opinion Cobb tuning um, has done things right you know they have great customer support um, in, in the event that you need to call them on the phone you know you're gonna get somebody um, their products that they sell um, they the fit finish of the product is excellent and the engineering that goes behind what they sell um, is done right as well so you know you can start with a stock car um, and add you know let's say an access port and you can tune your stock car or you can add their power packages um, from the you know the first stage or go all the way to their you know highest stage three or four um, and they give you tunes to support their power packages so although uh, you know a custom tune done you know from someone like us uh, can get you more power their tunes will support their parts so you're the, the whole ideal of Cobb um, you know as a whole you know you can do their power packages and have a tune to get your car up and running immediately after you put the parts on so you know in my eyes that's 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 key I mean tuning is key it ties together all the parts so you know Cobb has done things right um, you know from a tuning point of view and from you know a parts manufacturing point of view so Cobb access port in my opinion um, is the way to go for tuning on multiple different platforms Subarus Nissan's uh, GTR specifically uh, you know Mazda speeds um, Mitsubishi Evo 10 um, you know many others it, there, there's features that um, the access port allows you to to have or do um, compared to like an open source or uh, you know other software that doesn't have a, a user interface like the access port module you know the access port module will allow you to uh, check codes erase codes it allows you to upload multiple different maps um, it allows you to take data logs without a laptop it allows you to transfer files you know if you don't have a laptop it allows you to take a file um, from let's say a tuner upload it to from your PC to your access port you can take the access port out to your car plug it in you can upload that tune you can take a data log you can take the access port back in the house you can plug it into your PC and then you can email the, the data log to a tuner so it, it um, it allows multiple functions out of one tool um, and you don't get that with you know other other kinds of systems uh, you know like like an open source where you just have a cable you know if you're not someone that's going to be doing your own tuning or really want to be involved with that process um, it allows you to still communicate with a tuner um, and be able to do everything you need to do but not have to have a laptop in the car uh, another really strong point about the access port is that it, it, you can actually remove gauges you don't have to purchase gauges which will actually save you money um, the access port can have up to six monitors in real time so you can look at things like boost um, you can look at air fuel you can look at knock correction you can look at you know a lot of vital things in real time that you read right from the OBD2 port of the car and you know you, you don't have to have a gauge so it actually in some cases will save you some money um, which is a nice thing So here we have the Cobb Access Port. I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing so you can kind of see how it comes from Cobb and what you're expecting to get when you open it up. Um, we have uh, 
documentation from Cobb here, a little note. Um, we have the case for the access port, which you can store the access port in um, if you choose to. We have, there's some Cobb stickers here. There is a quick start guide if you're not familiar with the access port. Um, here is the actual access port unit itself. Uh, they have a alternate uh, shroud uh, cover here that's blue if you don't like the silver. They also have the mounting bracket that you can mount the cob um, right on your dash to watch the live gauges or if you want to just keep it in your car to uh, you know change tunes or whatever. Um, in this box we have the other piece for the mounting bracket for your dash. We have the programming cable that allows you to plug into the access port on the side here and then the other end would plug into your PC or your laptop if you wanted to uh, transfer data log, transfer a tune um, from your PC to your access port. And then finally we have the programming cable for the access port. So this end is the OBD2 end. This is going to plug into your car. This end is the end for the access port. You simply click it in. And once it's uh, both connected to your car uh, and you power on the car, your access port will uh, illuminate. It'll give you an intuitive uh, guide using these, these buttons here. Um, you'll be able to navigate the access port. And uh, you know, you'll be able to you know, select if you want to monitor gauges, if you want to erase codes, if you want to transfer a tune, or whatever you want to do. Um, you know, this is the tool that allows you to do it. So once you're done with it, you can simply unplug it, put it back in its case, put it in your house, put it in your glove box, um, or whatever you choose to do, or leave it in your car. But the access port is an awesome, versatile tool that allows you to do many functions. Um, and it's my favorite choice for tuning many platforms.